Hi, Vonda Putt here from the great state of Texas. How are y'all doing today? This is an unusual video. I wanted to show you my lowly Buffy mat, which I have right here. It covers my entire workspace, except for one little corner. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how I clean my mat. So, here we go. In the frame there. As you can see, I put some bubble pops on there, and um, they just are not thick enough, so I am just going to clean them off, and I'll be one second. First thing I do is I spray my mat down just with water. This is just plain old water in a spray bottle that I use for diluting down my paints. And I've already pulled everything off of here that will pull off, so I'm just spraying this down with water. And as you can tell, it's a real mess everywhere that you look, so I'm just spraying it so you can see with water like that. And I'm going to let that set for about 10 minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, I've let that set for about 10 minutes. Now I'm just taking some regular Walmart glass cleaner, and I'm just going to spray everything down with it. Okay, once I have that sprayed on, I just take a normal dish rag. This is one that I use for my painting. And I just kind of fold it like this and I just do a quick rub around of that cleaner just to get everything covered good. And you can see where the lightweight stuff, the light stuff is already coming off of the mat. Even some of this, you can see the purple paint smearing. Okay, so I just do that, let that part set, go over to the other side, rub it around over here. like I would my regular wood table. Same thing. And you can see the paint that's coming off. So then I just fold it. It's now soaked with cleanser. I go in long streaks like this and it starts pulling the paint, the paint right off of it. You can see that. The paint just is coming right off. It's just that simple to clean this mat. See? And then you can just rinse this cloth out. I just continue to fold it until I have a clean spot. And I do that over the whole mat. I just do a long strip like that. Sometimes you might have to go across one twice, but it just completely cleans it off just like that. That's how easy it is. So this side, as you can tell, is nearly clean with just a few strokes. Okay, there might be a few little bobbles that are thick. You can just peel those off. If you couldn't get them off before, they'll come off now. 
So I'm going to do this other side now. I'm just going to shake my cloth in my garbage can, get all the loose paint off of it, fold it again. And I'm going to continue to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to pull my cloth back and forth until everything is cleaned off. And it doesn't take long, it just wipes everything right off. Now the thicker stuff you may have to spray twice, but you can see how that is just coming right off. Just wiping it one direction, and it's coming right off. You can see it. I just pick it up on my cloth, fold my cloth over again to a clean spot. Continue to do the same thing. Usually one washcloth will do this whole table, and this is pretty messy. I don't normally do my balloon pops on it, but I've been trying to save my piddle pads because, as you know, they're expensive and we're kind of in a, going to be in a recession if we're not careful. So this is how I clean it. Okay, I will come back as soon as I finish this up and I'll show you another little trick that you'll really enjoy. Okay, I'm back. I just went and washed my, put my other cloth in my bucket of soapy water, grabbed another one, and I'm going to spray this one more time and finish cleaning it off. the heavy spots mainly that need to be sprayed again. I'll spray the other side lightly and then I'll go over and finish cleaning it first. And I'll just do these edges here. Sorry about my camera shaking. It is attached to my table. I'll do as far as I can reach. I have to go all the way around this table because it's so big and I'm so short. So just like that. The Lowly Veffy cloth mat, silicone mat, is just about clean. Now I know some people put them in the bathtub, some people put them in the shower. I prefer to do it this way. don't really like to take it off of my table because it sticks so well. If you have something that's tough, just it'll peel right off. Those little bobbles that little drips that are hard to get off that now that they're soft they'll come right out loose like here I have several of them up here that are loose now let me finish this side over here now When you're done, sometimes you'll have some of these little dry pieces all over this mat, which you'll try to wipe off, but they don't just really come off easily. Like you'll have all these little chips and, and things that, you know, you just don't really want to spend a ton of time cleaning off. But it looks so terrible, and I don't like to lay a clean canvas down on them because I don't want them to scratch my canvas 
So I just finished getting them off of here. Let them stay on there. And I'll show you a trick to get those little chips off. Especially if you pull the, the tape on the back of a canvas. Let me show you that and how that works. Lay my washcloth down. This is a painting that I'm working on and it's got tape on the back where I covered it. Well, when you pull this tape off, as you all well know, when you pull it off, it throws little paint chips onto your, take the leg off of there, if I can get it off of there. Anyway, you can see how it leaves the little green paint chips there. Now, if you're like me, try to wipe them off. My counter's now dry. Try to wipe them off. You just can't wipe them off. This mat is made to keep things on it, which is really good for when you're painting and you don't want your canvas sliding. But when you see all these little pieces of paint there, let me show you a really quick trick. This is what I use. This is a material fuzz taker off or whatever roller, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I've been using that to take the chips off my lowly Veffy mat. And all you do is tear off the old one, which I'm sure this, this one's not tearing right because it's getting old, because it doesn't take much but I'll take this off and I'll show you. Okay, now it's clean. This is all the green and over here that came off of my painting. So all I'm gonna do is just roll this across there, just like that. Roll it across, it's gonna pick up all these little pieces of paint. Look at that, just that simple. So if you have problems getting those little pieces of paint off your lowly Veffy mat, this is all you have to do is just roll. And it's so simple, except for mine's falling apart. These pieces that came up while we were cleaning that were loose, you don't have to try to get them off. Just pop them up and roll them off. That's all you have to do. And it gets all these little pieces of paint off of your table that are loose. Just like that. See? It's so simple and I just wanted to do this video to give you guys some little tip to help you with cleaning your lowly Veffy mat because I love them so much. So I want to say thank you for watching my videos and God bless you all. Be good to each other and kind to everyone else. Loves from Texas. Bye.